Let's listen to episode number six of Let's Get Your Sales Back series. Today, something really controversial. Literally, 90% of resellers get that shit wrong. Please don't be one of them. Welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. Today we will carry on with the series about getting your sales back. So if you still suffer from that summer 23 eBay get on, when your sales have split in half, then welcome back. We will try to sort it out together. But before we start, if you're interested in this kind of content in reselling on eBay, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you will find this video interesting, please consider clicking that like button anytime while watching. It doesn't cost you anything and it will help me to reach more people with my advice. Guys, as always, if there will be a topic that I have already talked about, I will put the link to the, to the respective video in the description box down below so you can go and have a look today a very controversial topic haters gonna hate but hey i'm here to tell you the truth i'm not here to tell you things that you want to hear i leave that to politicians we are doing we are trying to do business here no Nothing personal, no hard feelings, just business. Yeah, just the truth. So how many times have you heard on YouTube that you have to be active on eBay? I mean, it must have been thousands of times. Is that true? Do you have to be active on eBay? The simple answer is yes. But you are a grown up, an adult, and you know that life is not simple. So, what is the example that all those YouTubers give when they talk about being active? They say that you have to list daily because eBay likes it. For God's sake. Give me a shred of evidence that it's true. If you list new items on eBay, obviously some of them will sell. Unless you know nothing about what you're selling and you are picking all the dudes of the world and you list them on eBay. But it's not the case. You know what you're doing. You are picking items that sell. But your goal should not be to source and list 10 items and then sell 3, 4, 5 or 6 of them. Because all you are going to end up with is, is ever-growing inventory. And as soon as you stop to source and list, your sales will drop from the cliff. Guys, if you do that, if you pick and list daily, say 10, you list 10, but you only sell 5, you are not growing your business. You are growing your inventory. And that is a difference like between a chair and an electric chair. It's not the, act, the activity that eBay wants and expects from you. Let's say you get out of the house now, you source thousand items, you bring them home and you list them overnight. And you've got in the morning, you've got thousand new items on eBay. Good job. What's in it for eBay? What has eBay gained by you doing this. You can't even say 
that eBay gained the opportunity to, uh, to sell some of those items. It's not true. It doesn't work like that. eBay doesn't know those items. You've just listed fresh items. Algorithm doesn't know if they are good or not. Algorithm doesn't know if they will sell quickly or not. Algorithm doesn't, doesn't know much about those items. Yeah, it doesn't even know if they will sell at all after two years of pushing them out. Algorithm has to take the risk. eBay has to take the risk and push those items in order to check if any of them will attract the buyer. Now, whatever you want to say, the truth is that you have done easy job, easy part of the process, and eBay is doing heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. If you could get out of the house, source an item, and next day find somebody who will buy it from you, eBay would not exist. There would be no need for eBay if selling was so easy that you can get out get the item and sell it to somebody tomorrow. Finding customer is way much harder than finding item to sell. Please realize that. Stop treating eBay like what they do is super easy. Stop treating eBay like eBay is doing the easy job. If that was so easy to find a customer, there would be millions of websites like eBay. It's not easy. eBay is doing heavy lifting for you. eBay is finding the customer for you. You are doing easy job. You are getting out, source the item and list it. And eBay does not want you to list daily. eBay wants you to sell daily. eBay wants you to be active in selling, not in listing. Not in listing. They have enough items as they are. They don't really need more and more and more and more of the same items that I, they already have thousands of, millions of. Please understand that eBay expects you to sell, not to list. And I don't mean don't list at all. Obviously, you have to have something to sell to be able to sell it. So you have to list. All I'm trying to say is do not focus 100% of your attention on listing. Do not treat listing as the most important part of your business because it isn't. Stop endlessly growing your inventory. Start actively selling it. Concentrate on selling. And eBay will love you. This is the most important part of your business. Selling, not listing. Not listing. There is selling, then nothing, 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 and all the rest of it at the end. Selling is most important thing or in your eBay business. If you are able to convert the traffic into a sale, then eBay will give you more traffic, better traffic. They are not stupid. If you can make them money, more money, faster, quicker, while taking care of your customer so they want they are 100% happy 
then eBay would be mental not to work with you. And on the contrary to some, eBay is not stupid. eBay is not mental. eBay knows what they are doing. If you give them a reason to work with you, they will work with you. If you are better than somebody else, they will ditch somebody else and work with you. Take the most successful eBay reseller here on YouTube. I'm not going to name anybody. I will leave it to you. Are you going to tell me that he or she is smarter, better educated, understand eBay better than all those top level managers at eBay? Are you a thin kid in me? Are you trying to tell me that all those eBay managers don't understand what they are doing and they have 30 million dollars in golden parachute, 50 million dollars in uh, shares option, 10 million dollars in benefits, eBay pays for their car and the driver for this car, eBay pays for their for the uh, health in uh, health service that you will never get in your life uh, ebay pays for a million square feet apartment for them to live in ebay pays and ebay pays them five million dollars a year of wage and i are you trying to tell me that even the best reseller here on youtube is smarter than smarter than those people understand eBay better than those people. People are bashing that eBay CEO. Okay, that he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. If you are so smart, why aren't you on his place? Literally, the best eBay reseller here on YouTube compared to those top level managers earns bloody chicken feet chicken feet if you compare him or her to them chicken feet million dollars a year chicken feet so what ebay wants from you what kind of activity will give you the trust of the algorithm selling 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 only selling what is selling actively doing everything to make that sale having inventory that actually sells priced at market value described correctly and providing positive buyers experience quick and real reliable bloody hell dispatch that is priced accordingly, that postage can't be excessive. Engaging customer by replying queries ASAP. If you don't get messages from your customers that say, wow, thank you for that quick reply, it means that you are not replying quick enough. I get multiple messages like that every day single month if i get a message saying wow that was quick thank you for quick re reply i will reply to them again we are here for you we want you to we want to offer you the best possible customer service if you have any other questions please ask them and we will do our best to give you the answer that creates trust that creates bond between me and that customer. They are starting to trust me. They are starting to believe that if something goes wrong, I will not leave them in the cold and dark alone. I will help them. And then they are willing to buy because they feel safe. Mark those questions as answered if you don't want or don't need to reply to them. Mark them as answered. This is crucial. 
and I think it can't be done in the app. You have to do it on the website. It is flipping crucial. Accepting offers, countering offers, ASAP, never decline, never. Even if it's the lowest of the low balls, never decline. You are showing to eBay, hey, I'm not interested in selling this item because I'm declining that offer. Go F yourself, customer. I'm not selling it for that kind of price. You need to show the algorithm. Hey, I'm willing to sell this item, but I need a reasonable price. Hence, I'm countering that offer with my own offer. This is the best price that I can offer. Algorithm needs to know it. When you decline, algorithm says, this guy doesn't even want to sell his items. Sending offers to watchers. Show again, show eBay you want to sell your items. You are, you are willing to accept a little bit less to get a sale. Accepting offers that you would normally, you wouldn't accept. Yeah? But this is a sticky item. This is item that you want to push out. This is the item that was hanging there way too long. Accept the offer. Get it out. Offering discounts, coupons, markdown sales, promotions, buy one, get one free, whatever, whatever. The more of it you do, the better. eBay loves when you give customer the offer. eBay give, loves when you give customer something extra. eBay loves when your customer can't have that bargain feeling. A deal feeling. Yeah? Don't forget about promotional postage. Make an order for X amount of money to get free postage. Combined postage and stuff like that. Buy one, pay this one this much for postage, buy extra one, pay, don't pay anything at all or pay extra whatever, 50 pence. Yeah? Do not set your coupon to last for three months. Set it for a week and when it run, runs out, set it again for a week. When it runs out, set it again for a week. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the fake activity that you can create. Hey, I'm giving them a coupon. Hey, I give, I'm giving them a coupon. Hey, I'm giving them a coupon. Hey, I'm giving them a coupon. Every week I'm giving them a coupon. Yeah? Don't set that markdown sale for 14 days. Set it for two, three days, very short one. And next week do it again. And next week do it again. And again and again and again. This week on this hundred items, next week on this hundred items, a week after on this hundred items, and we week after that on that hundred items. Do it again and again and again. Create even if it's a false activity. Create it, create it, create it. Show as many times as you can, as often as you can. Show the algorithm. Hey, I want to sell my items. If you have something to dispatch, dispatch it. It baffles me, bloody hell. It baffles me that people are talking about listing daily, but they only dispatch twice a week. What's the logic in that? Surely, dispatching daily is way much more desirable, desirable than listing daily. Yeah, You give customer better service when you dispatch daily, not when you list daily. Never leave anything behind. If you have 10, 10 items to dispatch, dispatch all 10, not 9 because you still have time to dispatch this one. Zero awaiting dispatch. Zero awaiting dispatch every time you do the dispatch. Revise your listing when you end in search similar. Remember, your listing is dead after 90 days without a sale. So revise it. Change something. Add something. 
make, a, make it look a little bit different, to give the algorithm the reason to re-index it and change its position in search. Stay logged in to eBay for as long as you can. Josh Gold, some time, months ago, said that he, if he wakes up in the, more, in the middle of the night, he just check his eBay app. Now, I disagree with Josh decently often, but in my opinion, on this one, I give him full 100% support and credit. I've tried it and it works. When you are in the train, when you are in the queue, when you are in the waiting room, when you are watching telly, when you are having a walk, basically every time your hands are free and you've got nothing better to do, open your eBay app, refresh selling page, wait a couple of seconds, put your phone into your pocket. It helps. And if there is something to do, do it. If there is a message, read it, reply it. If there is an offer, check it, accept it, counter it. Never decline. Uh, have you got a non-payer? Don't cancel the order. If you cancel the order super quickly because you've got a non-payer, you are saying to eBay, hey, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I will not sell this item to this customer. I will try for you, eBay, to find me another customer. eBay just ha has just found you a customer. They invested traffic to find you customer. And you are saying, that customer is not good enough. Give me another one. <whistles> Don't cancel your order. Send a message. Send the next one after a day or two. And the next one. Give them some time. It's better to make a sale after a week of waiting for payment than cancel this item, released, and still wait a week, a month, a year to get that another sale. You never know how fast you're going to get it. Engage with the customer. Send them messages. Algorithm will notice that, hey, this guy is really trying to sell this item. This guy is trying to work with that customer. Negative or neutral feedback. Contact customer. Try to resolve. Do not go and request uh, removing three seconds after you have noticed that feedback. Go to customer first. Offer return, partial refund, fu Full, full, full refund if it's appropriate. I don't know the reason, yeah? But if something is wrong, work with that customer. If nothing is wrong, still work with that customer. Ask them why they have provided this kind of feedback. Ask them what has happened. Ask them how can you help. Tell them, hey, I want you to be 100% satisfied. <coughs> Honestly, I can't prove it but I've got a strong feeling that after customer revise feedback, say it was negative and the customer revised it into positive, I get a spike in sales because it sends a strong message to the algorithm that I have turned the customer from being mad as dog to being happy bunny. Yeah? Have you got return that is open? Solve it ASAP. If it's a cheap item, consider to send a refund when you see the item is on its way to you. <coughs> when you see the tracking is moving. What are the chances that they have sent you potatoes instead of, of, instead of what you have sold them? pretty slim and even if they had sent you potatoes instead of jeans how many times will that happen in a year 
and imagine how many returns you could close super quickly. Every time I close the return, my sales goes up, go up. When my sales go down, first thing that I check is if I have any returns still being open and why it's been open so long. Yeah? Item not received case. Contact buyer via the case. Don't send message to the buyer. Contact them via the case. They have opened the case. You can reply to them in that kind of in that case. Contact them. Hey, I'm sorry you haven't received your item. Next day, write to them. Hey, I've contacted the courier. They are looking for your parcel. Next day, con send them a message. Hey, I give, gave them a ring to, you know, keep them on their toes. Even if you haven't done it, even if you haven't done it, show eBay that you are dealing with this customer. Show this customer that you are trying to help. When you receive positive feedback, send them a message saying, thank you for taking your time to give us a feedback. Consider following our eBay shop. Every follower you get is a buyer's engagement. eBay loves buyer's engagement. You can't go wrong with followers on eBay. Get them. Send newsletters. Send pings to followers that you've done a markdown sale. Not too often. You don't want to spook them. You don't want them to stop following you because you are sending them too much spam. But do it from time to time. eBay loves it. Why? Because you are trying to sell. You are trying to engage a customer and make a sale. And you are showing to eBay, hey, I'm bending myself backwards to sell some items. Yeah? If you don't like promoted listings, fine. But consider promoting at least your sticky stock. Stock that is not moving. Stock that you want to push out. Promote this, even at low percentage, even at 2%. Just promote it. Just promote it. If it sells, you will pay, okay, but you got rid of sticky item. But eBay sees, hey, this guy is using promoted listings, so he wants to sell his items. Do not chase every pound or every dollar. If your stock is super easy to source, sell it. Even when they give you an offer that is a little bit less than you want for it, sell it you will source something else tomorrow to replace it. And today you've got a sale and every sales count. Every sale counts, sorry. Guys, I can go like that until next Christmas and beyond. You get the gist. You know what I'm talking about. Stop fixating yourself on listing items. Start making some time, start making some effort to sell your stuff that you already have listed. eBay will love you for that. Way much more that it will love you for listing countless items every single day. Because it's not what eBay wants. eBay wants you to sell your items, not to list more and more and more and more and more. Guys, how should I say it? Somebody, someday, has said here on YouTube that it helps your business to have a daily listing habit. Because it's true. If you are listing daily, you are making sure you get new inventory all the time. Because if you run out of inventory, you have to go and source. So you go and source and you put that inventory on eBay because if you stop putting inventory on eBay then eventually you've got nothing to sell. So that daily listing habit is something actually good. Yeah? But at some point I don't know how has that has happened, but that daily listing habit 
has changed into eBay wants you to list daily because eBay wants activity and this is the best activity that eBay likes. No, 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 no. These are two different things. Do you get me? These are two different things. The daily listing habit, a good thing for your business, is completely different thing than listing daily because eBay likes it. That's, that's a completely different story. This is true, this is not. Daily listing habit is good, but it will not give you much. You will only grow your inventory. You will make sure that you've got items to sell. But you have to sell daily to do the job. You need that selling habit too. You need that listing habit. But you more, you need more that selling habit. That should be your core. That should be something that you concentrate on. You need to do all those things that I have mentioned and more. You need to find other things that can at least look for the algorithm that you are trying to sell your stuff. Whether these are genuine tryings or it's just for the algo to show it that you are doing something. It doesn't matter. All that matters is the algo things you are trying to sell. Guys, one thing I will be always repeating until it still applies. If it will stop to apply, then I will not repeat it. One sale triggers another. In order to sell more, you have to sell a lot first. It's like a snowball. It's small at first. And it goes down and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually you've got an avalanche. The more traffic, if you get a traffic, you convert it. You get more traffic. You convert it. You get more traffic. You convert it. You get better traffic. You convert it. The more you convert, the more traffic you get or the better traffic you get. It's like riding the bike downhill. At first, you have to pedal a bit to gain that speed, to gain that momentum. And then you are start to go in faster and faster and faster and faster, even if you don't pedal at all. Yeah? You need to show eBay that you are here not to list and wait for eBay to do the heavy lifting and wait for eBay to sell your stuff. You are here to sell. You are here to do everything it takes to get a sale. You are ready to bend over backwards to get that sale. Even if you are not ready, algorithm has to think that you are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button. Also, if you wish to support the channel further, consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. I've got some more episodes of the series that are coming, but I really have no time to record them and to write the script. But we are going to get there. We are going to cover every single tiny bit of information that can help you. We are going to do that, guys. We are going to get your sales back or we will die trying. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye-bye.